Hello, my friends, and welcome back to the rabbit hole, and welcome to Six Days of Sunscreen. Yes, for this entire week, we are going to be trying six new sunscreens. I'll go ahead and start with a little bit of information on what's going on here. So, Stylevana was kind enough to send me six sunscreens to test out. I think they will all work well on my skin, but what we're gonna do is do some first impressions every single day and every day we will look back, we will have a comparison of the sunscreen that was tested that day to the previous sunscreen. So I wanna start out this series by of course giving some credit where credit is due because truth be told, I am borrowing some video ideas from the makeup community. So the inspiration for the six days of sunscreen is coming from Taylor Wynn's channel who of course does 10 days of foundation. I've always loved that video series she does. And the little ranking we're gonna be doing is inspired inspired by Stephanie Nicole, who used to do this when she uh, did liquid lipstick reviews. She would always see how that compared to the past ones. And if you're interested in purchasing any of these sunscreens or anything else from the Stylevana website, I do have a Stylevana affiliate code that I will have up on the screen and also in the description box below. We are going to start out this series with Make Prim. This is exciting to me for so many reasons. Make Prim actually made my old favorite Korean sunscreens and some of the more, much more affordable sunscreens in my collection. I was even recently using the UV Defense Me Blu-ray sun cream. Uh, somehow, as of now, I only have the box. I'm moving, and that encapsulates everything you need to know about the moving process. But I really loved these. These were all mineral filters, a little tiny bit drying, but it could be mitigated with a good moisturizer, so I really loved these. And new for 2021, Make Prim has released an entire new collection. The one we are reviewing today is the UV Defense Me Daily Sun Fluid SPF 50 PA++++. Since this does have titanium dioxide, let's start with applying it and then I'll talk a little bit about it as perhaps the white cast sets. I don't know, this is a first impression, we'll see how it goes. And I have, of course, already done my skincare routine this morning and we are applying this over that. By the way, do you like my shirt? I know I wear this shirt in so many videos, but it's so comfy. Can you see that it's soft and fuzzy on camera? The only thing is, the other day, Ara called this my Yoda shirt, and now there's absolutely no way that I can unsee that. It is my Yoda shirt, and now I am walking around feeling like I am a Jedi Master. So this is interesting so far. It's kind of not applying that differently from the original Make Prim. We'll see if it's still got the same kind of drying characteristics to it, but, and we'll see if that white cast disappears, of course, but so far so good. I'll actually tell you a little bit about this as I'm applying it. So this is made with titanium dioxide, which you can tell from the white cast, but also three different forms of new chemical filters. Now, here's the thing. I do have sensitivity to some chemical filters, but it's been very difficult for me to isolate those because uh, sunscreen products never just contain one filter. But anyway, throw away everything I was just saying because the thing is this new generation of chemical filters is completely different. They tend to work out much better on more sensitive skin types. I'm not gonna lie to you, I've still been a little nervous deep in my soul because, you know, it hurts when I have a reaction to the old school chemical filters. They sting, they burn my skin, and I break out. So I've been nervous, but you know, fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Okay, let's see how we're looking so far. We can see a little bit of a white cast from the titanium dioxide, so it would be nice to know what the percentage of titanium dioxide is in here, but I think it might also fade. We'll see, we'll, we'll keep it on while we chat more about it. I will say though, so far no irritation, feels like I've put actually kind of nothing 
on my skin. So as far as the ingredients, we do have titanium dioxide appearing as the first filter listed, which I believe because we did have a white cast in applying this. Ethyl hexyl triazone, also known as Uvenol T150, which has the highest photostable absorption of UVB, according to Inky Decoder, which is a really fantastic resource. We have diethyl amino hydroxyhexyl benzoate, also known as Uvenol A+, which offers a high UVA protection. And diethyl hexyl butamido triazone, which is... Iscotrin, Iscotrizinol. This one is highly photostable, according to Inky Decoder, and lasts up to 25 hours on your skin. That is truly impressive. Now, there's no added fragrance in this product. However, we do have quite a few plant-based ingredients, which may contribute to the scent. I don't think I picked up any scent, though. Maybe there's a very slight, very slight floral smell to this, but again, no added fragrance listed. We have a lot of skincare ingredients in here. We have hyaluronic acid, we have ceramides, beta-glucan. Of course, you're going to get lots of antioxidants from all of the plant ingredients in here. I love that there's no bergamot this time around. That was my biggest objection with the old formula, but... For some reason, I could use it anyway, so I just kind of assumed it was at a very, very low concentration, and they've just removed it from these. Good direction, Megprim. Now, because this is a new release, it was actually pretty difficult to find information on this product in English, but bless Google Lens, absolutely bless Google Lens, the sole reason I haven't sold my soul to Apple. So I was able to run the information on the Stylevana website, through this translator. And basically what I noticed is that they're really emphasizing the usage of both the inorganic filters and the organic filters, which I know some people don't love about this new release, but I see what they're saying. Uh, I'll share these graphics with you, although keep in mind they're not gonna be the best quality. But anyway, what they're saying here is by combining these two types of filters, you have a sunscreen that both works instantly and later and protects you against both UVB and UVA. To kind of summarize everything I see here in the Korean translation, the main selling points that they are going for with this product is that it is non-sticky, which I will attest to, non-irritating. They've done a test here on 36 people and none of them reported irritation. Still a, a small sample size overall, but a standard size for a company to do. And then they're also emphasizing two ingredients in particular, bamboo and water lily, both of which are soothing for sensitive skin and also calming ingredients. How's the white cast looking? It looks like there still is a little bit of a white cast. So again, why I'm suspecting it might be a little higher in the titanium dioxide filters, but not too bad. Probably would work as a nice primer. I haven't yet decided if I'm going to uh, take time to do makeup over this this today. I don't really have a lot to do aside from packing everything, laundry. Look, adventure, excitement, a Jedi craves not these things. But I think what I'll do is I will try to do some check-ins. Do or do not, there is no try. We'll do some check-ins throughout the day, kind of see how things are going. Maybe I'll have makeup on later today. Maybe I won't. Difficult to say at this point. Always in motion is the future. <laughs> Have I just been sitting on all these Yoda quotes just waiting for the day I unleash them? I'll see you all in a little bit. It has been three hours. I'm ready to give you some quick little updates here. So first of all, I now know how this looked on camera for you. You can definitely see the white cast. I'm attributing this to the lighting that I have and also to outdoor lighting. So here's the deal. When I go look in the bathroom mirror, this actually looks amazing. It's not as drying as the old version was. It just kind of looks natural on my skin in indoor lighting. But also every time I go over to the one window that our apartment has and I look in the mirror over there, hello white cast. So here's my plan. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's reapply this sunscreen and try it as a primer. You can probably tell I added some mascara since we last chatted. So uh, let's do that. All right, here we go. Reapplication number one. Oh yeah, I also put in contact lenses because, you know, I got tired of not being able to see. It's amazing how long those of us that have poor vision can put that off. Uh, I'll just see later. That's fine. It's fine. Okay, so I'm adding a little bit of the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot 
over this. Just gonna kind of dot it on and then blend out. And I really gotta say, for this sunscreen, it really is non-sticky, as they advertise. The part that I'm not understanding about this is why they went with titanium dioxide when zinc oxide exists as another option. You know what I mean? Does that seem strange to you? It's, it seems strange to me. That's a great primer, though, you know? It's a great primer, SPF 50, PA++++. We'll come back at the end of the day to give some final thoughts. Final check-in, it has been a very long day. I know you believe me if you saw my Nordstrom sale video. Yes, I am cramming my days lately. But I think I ended up wearing this for, let's see, I lost count at eight hours, so 12-ish hours. I am about to go and remove it, but I did wanna show it to you really quickly. And when we reconvene, I will go ahead and tell you my rankings with this sunscreen. But yeah, look at that. I mean, that really turned out to be a fantastic primer. That has really held on to my makeup all day long. So what an excellent use. So the next time you see me will actually be tomorrow morning. Soon will I rest, yes, for eight hours sleep. It's a bit optimistic. As promised, it is now the next morning. Mm, how I would love to tell you how well rested I am, but the lie detector test would determine that that is a lie. But let me give you my final ranking of this Make Prim UV Defense Me Daily Sun Fluid SPF 50 PA++++. I have seven different categories by which to rank these sunscreens. The seven categories are price, ingredients, smell, application, white cast, wear, and removal. So price. $30 at retail, it's about $25 right now. That breaks down to less than $6 an ounce, which means I got to give this five stars. That is an incredible price. A lot of U.S. sunscreens are only 1.7 fluid ounces in size. So for example, my current favorite holy grail sunscreen, the Dr. Dennis Gross All Physical, is $25 an ounce. So yeah, five stars on price. We'll say four stars on ingredients. It's a nice ingredients list, but it is kind of long. It does have quite a few plant extracts in it, some ingredients that unquestionably are contributing to the scent. So there's an allergy potential, basically. That is not the same as saying it's a bad formula, it just means that you will have to spend some time reading this ingredients list if you do have any kind of irritations. I recommend you read ingredients list thoroughly, no matter what. Okay, smell. I'm gonna give it a five out of five on smell. I like the very, very light floral smell in this. It is not in any way a perfume type of smell, just light and pleasant. You won't really smell it through the day. I had to stick my nose in it to smell it, but yeah, basically it does not have that characteristic sunscreen smell. For application, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I feel like I might be a little bit hard on it here. It applied just fine, but I did have to buff it in a little bit, and that's just gonna be the case with any mineral-based sunscreen. So again, why I'm like, am I really being fair here? But ultimately, was it a perfect application? Well, what's perfect? Is a fast application perfect? Because it wasn't super fast. White cast is where I do feel I have to deduct some points, but it's hard for me to figure out. It's actually really hard for me to tell you where I stand with this. I went back and edited the first portion of this video, so I now know exactly what you saw. It did look like a pretty strong white cast initially, but that second check-in wasn't bad at all, and it looked so good in the mirror that I kind of feel it's really not that bad. So I think ultimately for white cast, I think I'm gonna give it a four out of five because it does still contain those mineral filters that always have some amount of white cast. And it's not bad. It's not bad at all. If the old Make Prim didn't bother you, this one won't either. Because again, I actually think it's a little bit better. The old one had a bit of a white cast as well. But for where five out of five stars, can I give this sunscreen six here? Six stars, 11, 11 stars. It went so well in terms of how this wore, and it was an incredible primer. The foundation that I applied is one of my favorites, but it's like it almost wore even better with this under that. So if you are looking for a primer sunscreen, oh my goodness, this is such a good choice. And that's why I wanna rave about it here, because that is something that isn't necessarily that easy to find, and it's incredible 
in that way. And then five out of five for removal. I had no problems removing it. I used my Pharmacy Green Clean to remove it last night. No problems whatsoever. Actually also easier to remove than the last version. And this all boils down to make perm, you got an A on the test. This is an A rated sunscreen for me. And again, I actually do think it's better than the old previous generation of Make Prim sunscreens. I'm so happy that it's back and just not, you know, discontinued from the market. And actually, yeah, I do think it's better. So of course we don't have any sunscreens to compare that to right now, but we will tomorrow. So please do stay tuned. Tomorrow's sunscreen will be the Pestlo Safe Recipe All Mineral Sunscreen. And that is it, my friends. That is my review of the Make Prim UV Defense Me Daily Sun Fluid SPF 50 PA++++. Thank you again to Stylevana for providing this product. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.